you know, in a meeting of about 40, 45 minutes, you know, Ram said we're going to invest. Planet Perkins said we're going to invest. And I, I did not react. Partly con somebody in believing that we are a huge, huge company and we're a big company. Give us, uh, you know, give us tickets and we'll pay you six months later and stuff like that. So they did uh, ended up uh, going to the uh, to the U.S. and started hitting the hitting VCs one by one. Me and Abhay, what we used to do is, uh, so we had to show people that we are some big shot. So he would call a customer. Uh, he would do a cold call and say, hey, we are so-and-so, we are a mobile company, we want to come and meet you and uh, we want to explain why you should be coming onto our platform. And he said, in order to do that, I am privileged to have a mobile expert with me and he's here in town only for for a day or something and I want to swing by and bring him. But you know, we took that we took that risk that people don't know that we two are part of the same company and then he would go and he say, uh, Mr. Mohit, can you explain what's happening on the mobile and then I'll play that part. The real raw emotion is, gosh, there is somebody else who also believes in the idea as much as you do, and they're willing to put the money where their mouth is. So, I think it's just, it's just that raw emotion. Don't build a plan for the VC. Uh, build your plan. Have your plan, because you know better. You exactly know what you need to do. And you should be in the position of strength to choose. Hey. I don't think so, I need your money, I'm going to take your money. For VCs are not looking for sustainable balance sheets. VCs are not looking for great business ideas. VCs are looking for that plain, raw conviction and a dream. People would like to associate it with you because of the vision you are going after, because of the team you have put together, because of maybe some early bootstrapping, customer success, someone coming up and saying these guys are awesome. And that's why they want to basically invest into you. It was a phase that I would describe as a phase of us going global, as a phase of us starting to let go, and as a phase for us starting to even go further and decentralize ourselves as much as, as we could. There wasn't a day that I can point out where we, where we woke up and said, we're going to go global from tomorrow. Because that's not how it happened. Probably that's how it happens in the movies, that there was a bright idea, but that's not how it happens. In we thought that we can not see a world as one country and rest of the world. Most of the time, you know that the little voice in your heart is telling the truth, but your mind tries to always rationalize that, no, 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 don't take that leap. No, 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 don't take, don't take that trip. Don't go, go, go that global, you know, just try and sustain the business first in your country. So rather than we looking at the US, which was kind of a comfortable market from most of us living, studying and working over there, we said, no, probably this is not the right market. As entrepreneurs, you're always told that focus is critical. Let's just focus on the key markets, let's just focus on the key places. And for us, it was, a, it, it was going against all of that. So we said, okay, we will grow our business in similar looking countries and we found out Southeast Asia to be that belt. It was an amazing phase because I think it, again, was a defining phase for the, for the company. I think the right question is not what are the values that we incorporated. Right question is what are the values that we discovered in our, in our organization. You would function based on those values and you know some of them which were really, really big for us. Uh, important for us. One was, you know, to think really big. Articulate what are the things that we truly love. We were trying to articulate what are the truly, what are the things that we truly hate. What are the, what are the passion or what are the things that we truly appreciate in the business. And from that came out the values. Be fanatic about what we are actually looking to do. But we didn't articulate it that way. We, neither the first one. We never articulated these things, but we were a very passionate set of people. Crazy.